Hello, Zazzleites, and welcome back to our Satisfactory Let's Play. Uh, let's see, at the end of last episode, I told you that at the beginning of this episode, we would... Oops, excuse me. We would unlock... This, uh, Advanced Aluminum Production. So, we have everything we need here. There we go. Mine Advanced aluminum reached. production unlocked. The object scanner can now find underground wells, which can be pressurized to extract resources such as nitrogen, water, and oil. Nitrogen will contribute to more advanced aluminum parts. Awesome. That only leaves three things here, or two things here, to unlock. So we need turbo motors and minor mark threes, which we'll need pressurized cubes for. Or fuse modular frames, I guess. And then we'll need some fuse modular frames, some cooling units, and some turbo motors to unlock this last one. So we're almost there. We almost got our uh, hub unlocked stuff. And we still need to make some more spaceship parts to get our employee of the planet cup, but that's coming in the future as well. But uh, I told you guys that. In between episodes, I was going to add a floor under our base here. Well, the truth is, I got a little, uh, I was listening to an audiobook while I was doing that, and I got a little involved in the audiobook, so I ended up adding two floors. Two normal size floors. Actually, three floors. Two normal size floors and a large floor that will fit refineries on top. And that should, I believe, be all the floors we're going to add to our base. we got rooms for everything that we need to make. And uh, we are running out of room downstairs, though. So I had to put another floor up there for more refineries. We're going to need more plastic and rubber at some point. So I'm going to have to run those up there. And speaking of plastic, I also added another plastic line. Because plastic was our bottleneck for everything in here. For circuit boards, for our... Uh, computers for our radio control units for everything so plastic was the bottleneck so I added another plastic line which is another 100 plastic per minute and I put that right here as soon as you come in down here so we have another plastic line and then uh, I'm, again I'm feeding the heavy oil residue into here making fuel and then just burning the fuel in these fuel generators but the other exciting thing is I squeezed one more refinery in over here, which is, or I'm sorry, it was over here. I squeezed this refinery in, and it's making polymer resin because the hard drives. I've been, while I was doing all this, I was getting the alternate recipes in the hard drive, and we finally got the alternate recipe for fabric. So this is just being made real slow. It's not anywhere near peak efficiency or anything just letting it go the fabric however is being pumped over here to this manufacturer I put this here just because well pretty much everything else I needed was right here so I just uh, put it here and it's slowly making our gas filters for us so those gas filters are now automated and then the gas filters are running upstairs to another manufacturer in our little middle slow feed section up there and it's making the iodine fuse filters for hazmat suit so all of our uh, filters are now automated we'll have tons of filters for whenever we get to new fueler and i'm going to take you someplace i've never shown you which is the crawl space of our base here because now that we have drones i'm going to want to stop piping stuff and start shipping it so what I've done here, just running a little bit, and since we've done that unlock, I'll just set the recipe here. And this will start making empty fluid tanks. So as that makes, we're just filling up these bins over here. And uh, again, we don't care how fast this is being made. We don't need them immediately. We're just making them. And then over here, we're bringing down our empty plastic tanks. So we're just splitting off here and bringing these down and filling those bins up. This is for our uh, 
fuel canisters here for our jetpack. So while we're doing this, I put down my first two drone ports over here. So this one is going to be our empty metal container supply. Now we need a metal container for sulfuric acid and for nitric gas and or nitrogen gas and nitric acid. So if we're going to make any of that stuff and then ship it anywhere else, we're going to have to do this. And that's that's what I'm thinking. Instead of piping that stuff back here, why not just set down a drone port, package it, send it over here, unpackage it, right? So that's our metal canisters. And then over here we have our plastic containers. So anywhere out in the world where we are that we're going to use either, we can package water, we can package oil, we can package whatever with these and we can package our gases and our acids with these so anywhere we are out in the world we can just set down a drone port put a drone on it send it over here to get containers so we can fill up a few storage uh containers over there so that they have the empty canisters whatever you get the idea so that should hopefully replace pipelines now i'm more than likely still going to pipeline oil when we need more oil back here but this is our little crawl space, which I've never done anything with down here. So I just thought it'd be kind of cool to put something down here. So that's why I did this. And then, uh, let's see. Now, because we have those, those drone ports are not active, by the way. I mean, they're plugged in, they're hooked up to power. But uh, there's no batteries yet. So that's our first step today is to make some batteries. So, now I've already done all the belt work like normal. I know belt work is pretty boring to watch. Especially up and down item spines and stuff like that. Throw another hard drive in while I'm right here by the main. Oh, one's done. Oh, use batteries to make supercomputers. I don't think so. That would be kind of ridiculous. Wood to coal. Yay. 20 ingots and 10 copper ingots to make 15 of these. Other than the fact that it's 112.5 per minute, that's actually, I think, less efficient than a normal recipe. But, whatever. Have to pick one, right? I'm down to 17, 1800 or 17 now. Alright, so let's head upstairs and get started making some uh, batteries. And I did get the alternate recipe for the batteries, so we will be using the alternate recipe and we'll be making them in the manufacturer. Excuse me. haven't installed our new elevator yet. I do intend to at some point. This is the fifth floor. Is this the floor we need? Maybe it's the sixth floor. Yeah, it's the sixth floor we need. This is the floor. That's going to be our... Uh, Electromagnetic. Where did I put it? Must be down here. Yeah, that's right. I did put it down here because we're going to split off the batteries to go down here and then down that item spine to our drone ports downstairs. So all the drone ports here at the uh, base, at the main base here, is going to have batteries going to them. So that like when we set, we'll need to keep some batteries on us because when we set a drone down somewhere else, we can put some batteries in it, but it'll come here and then it'll just fill itself with batteries here, is the idea. All right, so we need to put down, I got sulfur, copper wire, aluminum sheets, and plastic. That's what it takes to make these. So we're gonna set down some manufacturers. 
big awkward thing. And these are going to make alternate classic battery. This is the old recipe from update three for batteries when batteries had no use. But it makes 30 per minute and we don't have to use the fluids so we can use this is one of the reasons why I went so big with the aluminum sheets because I knew I wanted to use this battery. So we got plenty of aluminum sheets. We can get uh, at least four of these machines going. Might even be able to get six of these machines going. I think we can actually. I don't know how many batteries are going to need those, so we're going to start with four. Now, while I'm doing this, I wanted to talk to you guys about the channel. Not something I do very often. Uh, we're only, we're just over three months old, so happy three-month birthday, I suppose. But uh, we're doing pretty well. One of our videos is nearing a thousand views, which is actually, you know, kind of a big milestone for this channel. I'm real happy with that. The thing about the, that I don't understand, though, is out of those thousand views... 602 are returning viewers meaning that at some point you've watched one of my videos in the last 30 days and then you came back and watched that video as well which you know is great i'm glad that makes perfect sense to me what doesn't make sense is the fact that 602 people came back to watch that one video after watching at least one other video on my channel but, only 23 of you guys are subscribed. Eight, nine. That's the part that I don't get. How are only 23 of you guys subscribed when 600 of you are coming back to watch a video? So, uh, I don't know. Maybe you guys just don't know how to subscribe. That's kind of the only thing I'm, uh, I can figure out at this point. The channel is called, it's Zazzle, Z for Zazzle. So if you see a Z, that's all you have to do is to subscribe. Just click on that Z. So I, at the end of every episode, I put a big Z right in the middle of the screen for you. So it's uh, it's there. All you have to do is click on that Z to subscribe, guys. And of course, you can visit the channel and subscribe that way, too. When I watch videos, I don't like the little pop-ups that show up in the screen asking you guys to like and subscribe and making the little noise. That's always annoying to me. So I don't want to do that to you guys. But maybe... That's the only way you guys know how to subscribe. That's kind of what I'm guessing, or at least hoping, I suppose. Fat finger today, having a hard time pushing the right buttons at the right time. So, otherwise, though, the channel's actually doing great. I mean, it's just over three months old. And uh, having a video that's nearing a thousand views when you're just over three months old, I think that's great. So, thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, I noticed a lot of you guys have been going, you're coming in and finding this channel through the later episodes, and you're going back and you're watching the earlier episodes, so I appreciate that, too. You know, I hope you enjoy them. Let's put down at least two more. Like I said, I don't know how many batteries we're going to need, but let's uh, try to make ourselves covered. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean to put it in the ceiling. So, uh, didn't even know you could do that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So is there anything you guys would like to see me do differently on the channel, I guess? That's something else I've been wondering. How do you guys... You guys are not big commenters. I mean, some of you got have commented. I appreciate that. And I get some uh, feedback from a few real-life friends who let me know what they think. But I'm wondering what you guys think. So, you know, the people in Germany and the people in uh, the Netherlands and... Sweden, you know, what do you guys think of the channel? What do you guys think of these videos? Is there anything I'm doing wrong that you think I need to change? Or anything you'd like to see different? Just let me know. You know, comment. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Even if it's negative, honestly. I, uh, you know, if it's negative criticism, feedback, whatever, you know, I'm all for it. That's enough about the channel, though. Okay. Get these manufactured. Doing this for 10 minutes already, and the man's complete. Power's on the other side of these. game cooperate probably set the recipes too Things just aren't working out today. Nothing's going right. What's the deal here? I can't quite click. Oh, batteries. Batteries. That's that. Batteries. Excuse me. Get some murders. Uh, I believe we're going to want them to go that way. Why 
here too. Ordered a new mouse, by the way, guys. It's been driving me crazy long enough, so when it gets here, there we go. Sure, you guys will probably uh, like not watching the spinnings around over and over and over again. should make sure they hook up to the machine, shouldn't I? I've been doing that a lot lately, actually screwing up, hooking them up to the machine, getting them out of line. So far, so good. I really wish that if these stack on top of each other that the one you stack would go that way and only turn it if you need to. It'd be awesome if they would do that. Something else I hope they do in update 5. Talked about that a little bit last episode. Now, uh, because these are three high, and that's three high, we have two. Two is actually three high. just to prevent clipping. It goes right through the middle there. And there we go, we have batteries. Now the way I set this up, I, I build a production buffer for everything I build here. So actually, let's just go through the wall here and I'll show you. Let's see, it comes out over here. Now, I did split off and go down to those two drone ports that we put downstairs, because all the rest of the drone ports are going to be upstairs. So I did put a splitter in here and just split off and went that way. It's not something I normally do. Normally, I put everything in the production buffer before I pull out of the production buffer. But the way these uh, things work is they come out of the bottom before they come out of the top. So, like, any batteries that are coming in here are going straight out the bottom. None are going up yet which is where we're going to put the majority of our drone ports up. See up here? That's where we're going to put most of our drone ports up. So, 
we're gonna have to no, we're gonna have to do our storage area. That storage area down there is gonna have to fill completely up with batteries before this will start backing up with batteries to run them upstairs. Now, if there are more than, like, say there's several stacks in here, it'll come out both at the same time. But if there's not, it just goes straight out the bottom until the bot until the bottom stops, and then it starts building up in here, or it'll start going out the top. Then, now once this fills up, though, or once there's more than you know two stacks here. One stack will go out the bottom and the other stack will go out the top. And it'll just go there. It's, it's a very weird thing. But they always go out the bottom first until it builds up. In so uh, it's going to take quite a while. But you know most of that will be done off camera anyway. i got tons of more off camera work to do in between episodes. But by the time I do, that's, that'll probably all be backed up. So... Uh, electromagnetic control rods are next. That is the pretty much one part of nuclear that's okay. one part of nuclear that's not radioactive. So we want to make those here. And that's what I had set up over here is the electromagnetic control rods. And we're not going to take these down to storage because we don't need them in storage. What we're going to do is take them straight up to our drone port so that when we start building nuclear we can just throw them over to where we need them. And these are in the simplers, I'm pretty sure. I've actually never built a nuclear setup. I mean, I pretty much know what to do, but... It's going to be interesting. Ought to be fun, really. Actually, let's start with our splitters here. Uh, let's see, five and seven. I haven't actually looked at the recipe I need to. That's right again, so one, two, three away. I really don't know how many of these we're going to need either. Let's just put down two machines for now. And then later on, if we need more, we just come back and Let's see what's it used. We got the alternate recipe, which is used as the uh, high speed connectors, which we don't want to use. The AI, AI, the high speed connectors, by the way, are being used elsewhere, so we don't want to overtax those, I guess. So the AI limiters are what we're going to use, since we don't really need these for anything but spaceship parts and smart splitters and stuff like that. And we have a production of those already set up. First nuclear part getting made. I love it. My update three playthrough, what I did was I built a giant fuel factory or fuel plant. And it worked out well. But, uh, man, I don't know. I'm just so sick of fuel power generation. So I'm hoping that this goes, or I'm, I'm sure nuclear would be even worse, honestly. But it'll be fun for me because I haven't done it before. Okay. 
Okay. Lines. We just need power here. I don't know why it was too long and then it was long enough. I don't know. I had not run power. Interesting. Outlet in here. Ah, I see. That's our Need for all four. I don't know why they have to put the power thing on a different spot on it. Okay, there we go. Let your main intro rods being made. Only eight a minute, but I, I like I said, I have no idea how many we need or whatever. We'll figure all that out later once we get our set up. Good. Good deal, plenty of parts. Okay, so that's going upstairs. So that's the last thing I want to show you guys today. To our, where our drone port is going to be. Now I put on the corner here somewhere, I put power. Which corner it was, though. Come on. Okay. Alright, so what I did was I built a carousel. Oh, we are getting some batteries up here. So what I did is I built a carousel here, so we, we could fit four drone things in the middle here. Then we could fit them all around the outside. So these two carousels here are the battery inputs for the drones. And then we can just, like I did here, hook up our normal. So wherever we set down a drone port, we're going to need to leave some space in between to run lines and stuff like that. But wherever we put down a drone port, and then if we need to, we can expand to another circle out beyond these, and then another circle out beyond those. I'm not sure. I have no reason to believe we will, but in case we do. Now, the one thing I was thinking, we're going to need a battery drone port, so a battery supply port, essentially. So I think that'll be our first one here in the middle. A little offset it a bit. Gives it plenty of room for the stuff to hook up. And we'll put another one over here. I can't believe we plenty of room to hook stuff up. Okay, so two in the middle, then we'll put a ring around. The rest will be on the outside. But this is going to be our drone supply. So let's put a splitter here. 
that will supply this port with batteries. And we'll put a splitter here. Our battery supply port, I guess. We'll just call it battery supply port. Call it battery supply. Okay, and then that one we'll just have for whatever we bring up on that side. This one is our that uh, electromagnetic control rod supply. So those electromagnetic control rods we're making down there will come up here. See, they're going in here, and then we'll be able to from our nuclear just send a drone back here to pick them up. I'm hoping I think I'm doing this right. I haven't played with drones at all yet. This is my first playthrough of drones, so. I think, though, this is going to work out well. And then I left this open here so we can bring more things up. So basically anything that we need, we can just bring up here and then ship it to anywhere in the whole world. So, And then uh, I can't show it on the map here. But... I mean, I can't show power lines on that. But essentially, we ran, to do the geothermal, we ran power lines. We ran them out here in the swamp, all the way around here, to set up geothermal. And then, even in the red forest up here, picking up hard drives and stuff, I ran some power lines. So, there's power lines all over the place here. So, basically, we already have power lines. So, anywhere we go in the world to get resources, we should be fairly near a power line. So, we can just run power to the resources, set down the drone ports do what we need to do get out that's the idea and uh but that kind of nixes my whole i was going to build a whole train network and that kind of nixes the whole train network I, i'm going to do everything with drones or the vast majority of things with drones so and i'm not going to be pipelining the gas back here i'm going to be using those gas canisters i showed you back at the start of the episode so it's all uh it's all coming together though we're getting there one more step closer to nuclear. Next episode, we need to make some cooling units and uh, some heat sinks. I think we need heat sinks to make cooling units. I'm not sure. But uh, we need to get that going next episode. So we'll plan on working on that. And uh, I'm going to end it here, though, guys. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Remember, hit that Z on the end screen to subscribe. And uh, have a good day, guys.